All right. We are live. And I'm here right now with the amazing Tiffany Armstrong. She Hi. is Hi. and Gavin. Hi, Gavin. <laughs> Gavin's Gavin's the a, a guest star to, with Tiffany and I today. And Tiffany is this blind bombshell who I met through an incredible community called Unblinded, a, a movement. A, just, a, just I'm so grateful that we became friends and that we've connected. She lost her sight when she was 26. And she's been rising in self mastery through her years. She's going to share. She's a superwoman who has many superpowers, and she's going to share her journey with us. And I think Gavin's going to go take off, right, Gavin? Yep. <laughs> he got shy. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. We'll take. Care. We'll have Gavin on. He'll he'll be his own star one day, right? Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. So Tiffany, so thank you for being here. I really want you to, uh, you know, to just be able to share about you and who you are, where you've been, and and we're gonna talk, you know, for a little while and just learn all about you and how you've risen above this this I mean this is a massive life challenge like most people don't go through, right? When you were 26 year old two years old, you lost your sight. And so you can begin where you want as a child or just tell us who you know more about you. Yeah. Well Gina, first of all and everybody um tuning in now and that are gonna be watching this. Thank you so much for spending time with us today. Um, this is a beautiful access to speak into the world of, of many things. Um, because, you know, through our lifetime, we go through many changes and reinventions. And, um, you know, some, most of them hopefully are for, for the better. Um, and absolutely, um, I would be remiss to not say that um, blindness is definitely a superpower. And, um, you know, I have rough days. I, I don't even want to pretend like I don't. Um, but, you know, truly, it's how I really found who I am in this world. And, um, you know, I really believe, like, that this is just one of the bus stops um, here um, this time around that I get to experience the world from this perspective. Um, because it's definitely eye-opening, which is, which is just really ironic. Um, <laughs> Yeah. So, um, yeah. So I'm, I'm happy to just dive in. Um, I, uh, you know, I was born and raised here in, in Phoenix, Arizona, and, uh, I kind of grew up in like a small farming town, um, out in Chandler, which is now like a giant city. There's like Walmarts where there was like cotton fields. So, um, it's completely different now. Uh, but definitely had a rural, um, you know, upbringing and, um, absolutely loved it. And there was just nothing to do out here. Um, and it's hot, right? It's the middle of the desert. Yeah. And so, um, I always had high energy and I'm sure I drove my mom crazy. <laughs> and so <laughs> She's like, Tiffany, you have to do something. So I did swimming and I did it well, actually. Um, at the end of my swimming career, by the age of 12, uh, I just barely missed the Olympic trial cuts by 0.5 seconds. Um, so wow. that's, I mean, you're wow. talking like a fingernail, wow. right? Like, that's nothing. It's like half, like a blip. Um, and, uh, so, and, wow. and at that point, I mean, where's your self mastery at a 12 year old, right? Like it was, uh, it was just really hard to go through that. And, um, uh, the disappointment was deep and discouraging and I was kind of like I'm hanging my swim cap and my goggles up I'm done like I, I just I don't want to do this anymore I didn't make it like barely and I just I don't know um and my mom didn't push me and I'm glad I'm, I'm really glad she didn't push yeah um, so so that opened up some new opportunities um and living in a in a smaller community uh, my mom owned like a gourmet shop, which was the place to get, you know, a gourmet sandwich, soup, salad, and, and so on and so forth. And, um, and, and that's how I got my entryway into the restaurant business. So I followed her path and went to culinary school, found my passion in pastries, um, became mm -hmm. um, an award-winning pastry chef. I was about to go to a worldwide competition that they hold every July. I don't know if they're having it this year because of COVID, but 
Right. Um, it's a it's a worldwide pastry competition where there's um, you know like um, confectionery sugar and and all kinds of um, you know they they grade you on on different items and and what you submit your stuff into. Mm -hmm. And I was really like, people were looking at like, Hey, she, she's going to do something. Um, and, um, it was at that point, I, I just was driving to prayer. I'm a Christian mm -hmm. and, uh, I couldn't see the lines in the road and I thought, well, Hey, you know, it's sun up. Maybe it's just like the sun was, you know, when you're making a turn and the sun's like right there in your face, you kind of like get a black spot for a second. Yeah. Um, yeah. So I just thought it was that. And then I went home and I looked in the mirror and like the white part of my eye was like someone took a red crayon and just colored it. Wow. And, yeah. I'm like, whoa, what, what is that? Um, wow. So yeah, I went to the doctor um, to find out you're going blind. Oh my goodness, Tiffany, I can't even imagine what that must have been like for you. Yeah, um, it was scary. It was like, it felt like a death sentence. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I was like, wow, I, I like, what do blind people do? Wow. I've never seen a blind person. They must stay at home because it's dangerous. I mean, this is a world. I mean, it's dangerous when you can see. Yeah, that's for sure. <laughs> it's definitely right? dangerous when you can see and not to, yeah. 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 And, and you're was, all just getting started in your life and all these things. So I can't, yeah, so please go on. I'm gonna, yeah, just yeah. let you. And I, I was uh, newly married and like, Wow. what is my, what is my life gonna, look like um i can't do pastries i mean they're so intricate there's no way you know so i you know it's literally a death sentence mm. and um and it was you know so the so we move forward and and i'll kind of go quickly through this because um, mm -hmm. there's a lot there but i mm -hmm. want to be in service of time yeah um and i had surgery and um and just the last bit of the story was three days later, I was like, they, they like, they healed what was the damage that was done. Um, and it was diabetic retinopathy. So I lost my vision due to diabetes, oh. um, mainly because I didn't take care of myself when I was a teenager. Wow. Really? Yep. So it was the damage. Like I was taking care of myself then, but it was those teenage years that like I was at high school, like drinking soda when my mom was at work, right? Like parents work, that's the reality. Yeah. And she's not there, you know, Tiffany, don't drink Dr. Pepper. Like, right. And what? yeah, what? and it was, so it was all of that damage. Um, even though I'd fixed myself and gotten my blood sugars under control, um, that was, it, it was like already done. Did you so, know you were diabetic? I'm sorry. I'm just a, a, yeah, a yeah. I knew I was diabetic. Um, I yeah. I became diabetic when I was eight, okay. and that was another reason why my mom's like, "You've got to do sports because um, back then, I mean, back then, you know, I'm 36 now, but it's you know, technology's come a long way. Yes, they just didn't know how to handle. You know, when you're growing up, you have hormones, you have growth spurts, you have all these things, and it's your endocrine system. And your blood sugars are just whack, wacky, absolutely whack. I don't know how. Well, I don't know. I mean, parents figure it out, but wow. I don't know. It's it's incredibly hard. Um, so mean, yeah, so here we are, like, can't see. And they fixed me to a point where I'm like, oh, okay, like, I can see. I can see good enough to drive. I can still see the clothes in my closet, like. Okay, this is cool. So I drove over to my girlfriend's and her baby wakes up from a nap. And she's on a business call and she said, like, Tiffany, go get Ave. And I'm like, okay, cool. So I run up the stairs, grab Ave. Mind you, I can totally see, totally fine. Right. And I'm, I'm carrying little Ave. She's two. And you know how kids like to go in like a monkey? They go in the front, like wrap their arms and their legs around you. Yeah. And she's like, you know, we're having fun. We're walking down the stairs. 
and I just miss that step. Be like the stairs go oh, down no. the landing, and then they go down that way, like, oh, like no. a house staircase. And in like I knew I was gonna fall, but if I fell forward, there's a wall there. She's just a little baby two year old, so I'm like, ah, and I grab the handle and I push backwards, and I take the fall. The baby's fine. She's freaked out, right. and I hear crack crack and i'm like oh my god what was that and um i fractured my tip fit because the way i landed on my foot with all that going down power with the right. weight oh my god rushed the emergency room and they're just worried about my leg my leg my leg nobody's caring about my eyes i don't have a prescription yet it's three days post-surgery um okay. it's the weekend before thanksgiving um and i'm supposed to go back to the doctor on monday and like orthopedic surgeon small town out already on vacation for the holiday nobody's in i'm they're giving me so much pain medication i'm like literally sick to my stomach i don't know if that's ever happened to any of you but it's horrific i hate pain medication I'm with you. I'm and, mm -hmm. yeah and, and just being sick physically and, and, and the stress is putting on my leg when I move to be sick. It's just, it's a mess. Yeah. And I'm like, just put me to sleep and wake me up when this is all over yeah. and look at me and like, yeah, we can. I'm like, great. So wow. like sign papers, medically induced coma, wake me up when it's over. Are you serious? Know. It was that bad that they had to give you oh. a yes to that? Yeah. Oh yep. Yep. hundred percent. I mean, it was, it was horrible and the the bones starting to poke through i mean it was and the, there was nobody there that could fix my leg until monday oh this my is god wednesday oh I'm my like, there's god. no way i am living like there, I, you can't do this to me like well, i'm not doing it. yeah the pain i can't even imagine what the pain must have been oh my god okay yeah, well. absolutely horrific and mm. so they do that well everybody's like my blood sugars are up like you know, because my body's panicked, I'm out, I can't advocate for myself. Mm -hmm. So apparently what happened was I only had sample drops. Remember that eye surgery? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I only have samples. Well, it's against the law for them to administer medication without a prescription. Oh, no. But yeah. you need the drops to heal your eyes. Boom. And that was gonna, that surgery was literally going to heal your eyes, like it officially. It did. I was, I was seeing. I was driving. Oh my goodness. Okay. So now you had no access. You couldn't use the drops. Yep. So I wake up. I'm in the hospital, and I'm laying there. My eyes are closed. I hear beep, beep. I'm like, oh yeah. Ooh, I had broken leg ouch feel that yep and my mom's like she's moving i'm like mom and i'm like whoa hey mom can you turn the lights on and she's over here and i'm looking at her trying to look at her and she's like honey the lights are on you're in the hospital i'm like no 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 and my family kids a lot i'm like no, mom, like, this is not a funny time. Like, I, I hurt. I feel sick to my stomach. Like, turn the lights on. She's like, oh, my God. And I go, what? She's like, oh, close your eyes. I'll be right back. They're that bright red color again. Mm. And I can't see anything. Mm. So here I am with a broken leg non-weight bearing for four months mm. and i can't see all at the same time yeah um, oh tiffany wow my heart just sunk into my stomach i just can't imagine what that must have been like for you i i can't even i can't imagine what it must have been like for your mom and oh okay i'm so sorry for what you've gone through but oh my gosh Oh my yeah. gosh, what kind of strength you have now. Wow. Amazing. <laughs> I, I, okay. So, so whew, give, 
Thank you so much for sharing that. And I just have to acknowledge how far, I mean, I have only known you for a short couple of months and you're that, you know, you're talking now what 10 years later, right? Nine years later. And like you're a mother, you have children, you have a husband, you guys are you, doing amazing things in the world. I mean, share a bit about your journey that you, that, you know, how, how you've come through it. And yeah. What, what some tools, like I know, you know, last week I had um, Nate Zelesnik on the call on, on meetings with masters and he shared and, and forgive me if I didn't say his last name, right. You could. No, oh, you nailed it. Yay, yeah. Nate, if you're watching, I nailed it. Um, <laughs> um, with fiber vision. So I want to hear a little bit about your, your journey of how you, you rose above that because I can't even imagine what that must've been like for you because now you're telling your mom to turn the lights on. I'm assuming she went to go get the doctors and from that point yeah. forward, they, they literally found out that was because you didn't have the drops. Is that? Yeah. Okay. Yep. Yep. And so, um, yeah. So, I mean, needless to say, I was depressed. <laughs> I spent a year and a half just in bed. Uh, my husband and I at the time moved into my mom's house because he quit his job to take care of me. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, so we move in with my mom and I go to physical therapy three times a week rehab my leg just go home because i'm just exhausted and go to bed i literally slept through that depression and finally one day i woke up and i'm like i'm sick and tired of being sick and tired at that point you know i'm pretty like physically addicted to pain pills because the doctors like just felt so bad for me they just gave me pills and at that point you just have so much pain you can't even like decipher is it emotional is it physical and, and, you know, as some of you might believe, and I believe emotional pain causes physical pain. Mm -hmm. um, and so just really like using that as a crutch, um, a legitimate crutch, but, you know, kind of just had an awakening, like, okay, I am just, this is not me. I, I don't even know what happened. It was an act of God is what I think. Mm -hmm. um, I am just, I'm done with this. Uh, blind people must do like something like, at least more than this. Like I can learn how to knit. I can like, yeah. I don't know, buy a rocking chair. I'm like, I don't know. Like, let's do something. <laughs> I can't just leave it anymore. Oh, um, how, much, how much further along? Like, what? How long was that period of? Do you think until was it a couple of years? Was it a? Was it a couple? You know, months? Was it? How long was that period? Yeah, it was a year and a half. It okay. Was a year and a half. Okay. Yeah. And um. And so uh, I actually, my best friend, Brenda Van Gelder, she's an amazing, amazing woman. Um, she um, She's a process mastery person. She's just on top of it. She's a CFO. She's amazing. And she calls me Tiffy. She's the only one allowed to call me Tiffy, by the way. She's <laughs> like, Tiffy, guess what I found? And I'm like, what? She's like, I found a blind school. You can learn how to be blind. I'm like, I can learn how to be blind? She's like, <laughs> Yeah, it's amazing. Like wow. they cook, they clean, they travel, and I'm like, oh, I love traveling. I, I just like I a travel bug. I I've been to Europe twice by the time I was twelve. Like, mm -hmm. let's 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 do this. Like, let's figure out what it was. And then, like three months later, I kid you not, I'm on a plane with my husband going to Colorado, and I went to Colorado Center for the Blind, amazing school for finding your independence figuring out how to be a productive member of society. They believe in full immersion. You live there by yourself. I mean, they have like um, apartments within a large, like like mega apartment complex. So like you're integrated with normal people, sighted people, we'll call it. Yes. And um, and so you have these apartments, you have a roommate, you know, it's girl, girl, boy, boy you know, whatever. Yeah. And, um, and you just, you figure out blindness together. Wow. And, yeah, and it was an amazing journey. I did that for eleven months, and um, and I really just found who the beginning. That's so reinvention number two. Um, you know, who am I as a blind person? Like, what is this canvas going to look like? And I'm I met people that were lawyers and doctors in ERs and wow, really that saved other people from the disaster in New York, the Twin Towers. He led led people down the stairs with his guide dog because you don't have to see 
he's got blind skills. <laughs> like, let's go down these stairs. Follow me. Right. Um, amazing yeah. stories of amazing people. And I really just was like, oh, I can do this. Um, so yeah. I did that and had an amazing experience and uh, moved a couple times, finally got back here to Arizona and found myself a job at Savvy Services for the Blind, which is blind school here. Um, they serve adults. And I found my niche because I was like, well, how can I make like what happened to me? How can I help others for that to like not happen? Because there was like a break there, like in my doctors. And then this is not my doctor's fault, my personal doctors. Okay. Yeah. Now the, doctor, the hospital, it's another story, but you know, my doctors, um, like my primary care physician, who is still my doctor this day, 16 years, my doctor. Oh, wow. Um, amazing man. Um, like what could he have done better? Um, uh, let's fix this. So this doesn't happen to more and more people because diabetes is the number one cause for blindness. Oh, so, really? I didn't see. Uh -huh. Yep. It's very serious. And cause you don't feel it happening. You just don't feel it. It just happens. Wow. That's so, so how can I, how can I fill that gap? Right. Yeah. So I found my niche. I got really connected with, um, the endocrinologist for the Southwest region of the United States, very, very dear friend of mine. And, um, you know, got with some other doctors and we were sharing clients, ecosystem merging, didn't have a name for it at that point, but that's what I was doing with doctors and um, primary care physicians and all kinds of internalist doctors and everything and, and holding microphones and stages to speak about diabetes and how to take care of um, a patient if they're blind and if you're not comfortable, this person is, and just really creating a beautiful um, environment for for that niche. Right. Um, especially with the baby boomer population coming up and type two diabetes, and uh, it was just an epidemic. And um, I made some huge differences and um, helped out to reduce the cost of insulin. Um, it used to be highly, highly expensive. It is still in some states, still working on that actually. Wow. Um, and helping in the blind center, bringing those doctors in, assigning people who are already losing their vision because, okay, well maybe we can prevent this, but if we haven't prevented it, and now you're here in my office through the blind services, how can you manage your diabetes as a blind person? Because it's different. Like you can't read boxes and see how many carbohydrates are in what you're eating. How mm -hmm. do you read labels? How do you check your blood sugar? How do you give injections? How do you measure insulin? I mean, um, because taking care of your diabetes, it's your diabetes. It's not your partner's. It's not your significant others. It's not your mom's. And let's get rid of that that caregiver. Like you can do this. And when you take responsibility for what's yours, you own it. And you'll do it way better than anyone else would. Absolutely. And in all things. <laughs> yeah. 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 Wow. That's me. I am so, blown away. Okay, go on. Sorry. Yeah. yeah. No, you're totally fine. Um, and I loved it. And then do, 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 do. Gavin arrives. <laughs> oh, yeah. And you were with your first, your, your husband at the time still? Yeah. So he, he, yep. Yeah. Yep. Okay. And um, Gavin came. Mm. Gavin came, which was a huge surprise. I was told I couldn't have children. Oh, my goodness. Uh, so you kind of put that out of your head completely. Oh yeah, that's a whole other story. I mean, I don't know where we're at on time, but <laughs> we we need it. We'll have to catch do that another day. No, we're we're yeah. about four minutes in, but that's okay. We can you know just uh, this is really powerful. There's so many things that we we will have to talk more about another time because I think people need to know about the diabetes, the possibility that their kids who are drinking sodas and like you know Arizona iced teas and whatever other sugar like that's a whole different like conversation we can have alone, right? Because that's what caused you to have to mind this, what you're doing to your body as a teenager, when, when you're a teenager, you don't want to hear it and how you have come through it and how you went to blind school and, and you've done all these things to rise above your challenges. And then all of a sudden now you're having a baby. 
which you didn't yeah. expect. So, yeah. yeah. So go on, yeah. please. So, yeah. So have little Gavin and I realize I don't want to work. I don't want to work anymore. I want to be a part of his life. Um, I want to be a stay at home mom. And, um, and that's it. I really just yeah. set forth to make that happen. And, um, you know, in that transition, um, I realized I was unhappy in my marriage and, and, you know, I'm not going to go into all that, especially with my son in the other room. Um, yeah. and you know, we ended that very quickly because it was very apparent to me that this was not going anywhere really fast. <laughs> and, um, you know, really opened up for new doors, uh, for me to walk through and, um, you know, started doing life on life's terms and figuring out what that looked like. And, um, you know, just trying to wrap this up, this part of it, mm -hmm. um, you know, met my current husband. I'm super happy. He is my soulmate. He is my life partner. He's my best friend, Michael Armstrong, absolute amazing guy as well. He is totally blind. Um, he's climbed Mount Kilimanjaro. He's raised wow. hundreds of thousands, if not millions of dollars for blind kids. Mm -hmm. Um, and you know, he's hiked from Mexico to Utah. I mean, just wow. I, his heart is just, I don't even know. He is my grounding tool. He yeah. keeps me here on earth and he is just, um, a remarkable <laughs> being. So what a blessing. What a blessing that was. For you. Did you meet him in the blind school or in, in, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oddly enough, we worked together for five years. Um, totally like, I mean, he's attractive, but you know, I mean, I'm married, he's married, like we're cool. And our, air, our marriages really started ending at the same time, not even knowing that about each other. Cause I mean, we just worked in the same department because I did diabetes, which is health and wellness. And he was the personal trainer. So our offices were next to each other and we shared a lot of clients and had a lot of like collaborative thinking and we always worked well together, but yeah. never, ever thought in million years. Um, really, I never like the thought never crossed my mind. And then <laughs> one day I took his yoga class and it was just like we connected energetically and it was over. Wow. Totally over. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It, was, <laughs> it just kind of happened. So, yeah. Well, it's a gift. Okay. Okay. So, so now you're, you're together with him. You guys fall madly in love and you have a child at the time. He's how old? Yeah. Gavin. Uh, at that time, he was almost three. Okay. So, wow. Okay. So, so amazing and powerful. And, and we know when, when one door closes, another one opens, it does make room for something more. And you obviously, you know, the blindness was a big, big, big door closing, but what has it opened up for you? Where are you now and where are you going? Oh, that's such a good question. So that's the exciting part. Yeah. Uh, if you made it through all the, uh, well, all the well, this is where the transformation happens, right? You started to yeah. have, I mean, there's all, there's lots of different breakthroughs and different transformation piece parts of the transformation, but like, yeah. Like what yeah. is it all for? Yeah. So, uh, the first like huge transformation, cause there's two and, and I'll, I'll be quick. So the first one was, um, by revision. So Michael and I, that was like our sanctuary, like, we, we were, you know, getting to know each other. We travel together, go to Utah once a month and train under this amazing skill of vibra vision, which is really um, tapping into your brain um, to use your energy and, and what your God, God has given us or, or whatever you believe creator has given all of us, all of us, you don't have to be blind to to reach a higher level of consciousness to view your world um completely from a different perspective from a mm -hmm. vaccine point of view mm -hmm. um and it's it heals your body it, it does so many magnificent things and that was really where we that's like our life project together that is um what we do it is our mission if we both didn't have to work which Hopefully there is that one day um, we will 100% um, be able to devote all of our time and attention to that. And um, because and Viber just, Vision, I'm sorry, I'm just like I'm a, I'm still surprised at what Vibration does, but it allows people to 
who have no sight, it allows you to see without sight, right? And to yeah. do things without sight that normal people that are that that are that can see do, such as reading without braille, right? Like, explain the difference. It's just yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. like, um, so explain the differences. So, like, um, well, for me right now, where I'm at with my vibro vision is like when I do the technique, which is super easy, and I do it all the time. Like I see, like if you imagine sonar, um, and that's just where my level's at right now. So like if you were to put me and another totally blind person in a room, like in a blinded, right? Um, mm -hmm. In the general event, I have eye revision, they don't. I have a huge advantage because I can actually see like in sonar vision mm -hmm. um, where like things are defined, like where the edge of the wall is. So I don't just face plant into it. Okay. Um, I can, I can walk around it. So like, it, okay, everybody goes to the bathroom, right? I'm not going to talk about going to the bathroom, but I'm talking about in the bathroom. Right. When you walk down the aisle and there's stall, 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 yes. and there's an open one, the doors part way open or all the way open or whatever. I can physically see with my sonar vision that it is right now, if that door is closed or open. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. It, it It's like a feeling? No, it's a visual. It's wow. like, um, so right now, so if you close your eyes, I say mm -hmm. purple elephant. Mm-hmm. Mm, got it. Mm-hmm. And it's there in your mind that you see. I understand. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And well, the people that have mastered it, they... I mean, they walk around you, if you guys, it is insane. And this is what just keeps me going. Um, they walk around with those mindfolds on that they use in like the Special Olympics, the total blackout chase or memory foam. So there's no way of seeing around it. They walk around um, the cold lot, which is like dojo, like gym, right? Um, like they can totally see because they can like, Hey, what's up? Like, I don't even know if they're wearing the blindfold or not. I asked, I'm like, Hey, Angie, are, are you, are you blindfolded? She's like, yep. <laughs> and she'll be like, I like your necklace. I'm like, wow. I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. And I can't see that good yet, but mm. I know I will, I will get there. That and is sometimes I have glimpses. I can. I, that's remarkable to me. It's like literally magic. Then someone's asking on the on the messages, "Are you a hundred percent blind?" I'm sorry. It, for some people, it gives me names, and for other people, it just says Facebook user, and I don't know who it is until I look later. But the comments, there's some you know comments. What one person asked, "Are you a hundred percent blind?" Hundred uh, percent blind. Yes. Um, this eye is actually a prosthetic, and this eye is still real. But I will. I don't know. I'm gonna. Probably get one to match this one pretty soon, but I'm just waiting for COVID to be over. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in the middle of doing that. Yeah. Wow. And it's fun because when you have two, you can change your eye color. Like Mike just changed his eye color completely. Oh, really? really cool. <laughs> yes. Oh, that is amazing. You've got, you have some of eyes painted like a lion, and now they're like um, Matthew McConaughey. <laughs> wow. Wow. <laughs> I told him, I'm like, babe, why don't you have Matthew McConaughey <laughs> Oh, that's so great. I love it. And then you, you're when you a hundred percent master this, like the vibra vision and the work of being able to see when you can't see, you could probably actually see his eyes. Right. Yeah. Wow. That's just mad. I mean, really powerful. So that's, I, you know, I just hope that people who anyone who sees this, if you know, please share this out because if you know someone who's blind or you know, someone who knows someone who knows someone who's blind, they and they don't know about vibrovision and have the opportunity to see and actually like you said this she could see the necklace like that's just that is unbelievable to me right is there anything what else do you want to say about that tiffany and then we can go into the next part of your journey yeah um i mean that's really um you know pretty much it i mean it's it's real they are um you know starting to get some funding um, we just wrapped up um, through the ecosystem of Unblinded, which we're about to talk about. I had the um, privilege, honor, absolute honor and opportunity um, 
to set out intentions to meet Joe Dispenza, which is hilarious. Oh. And then not only did Moss Nate, Nate Zalesnik, we call him Moss, which means teacher, yeah. um, in intention, um, meet Joe Dispenza, but we literally, two days later after sending that intention out, not even kidding, two days, the guy behind Joe Dispenza that proved his stuff to be real, the number one doctor of neuroscience, Jeffrey, Dr. Jeffrey Fannin, dropped in my lap, not even kidding. I went to this meeting and he like steps up, we have guest speaker, hi, and this is the first meeting of this group that I had ever been to. Hi, my name is uh, Dr. Jeffrey Fannin, and you might know me through Joseph Dispenza. Uh, I'm the doctor of neuroscience that proved all of his uh, teachings to be true. And I'm like, shut the front door. Wow. Like, oh my gosh. And so we just got his scientific paper that he wrote for us um, and did brain mapping on all of us. He literally lives 15 minutes away from me. Oh. Um, yeah, this whole That's time. Horrible. Wow. Yeah. Okay, so he, wow, so you connect with him there, and then yeah. he comes on board and says, okay, I'll check it, I'll get him, I'll get involved, and I'll, I'll, I'll research and do the work. Wow. That, so yeah. that, you brought, you brought him to Unblinded, I, I mean, to, um, to uh, Vibrovision. Yeah. Ph yeah. Phenomenal. That's called manifestation, people, when you, when everything's Ooh. clear, yeah, and, and things start to fall in your lap. You're so in alignment. How powerful is that? That is beautiful mm -hmm. and amazing because I know from my last week's call with me that he got that that Vibra Vision just received the certificate. Um, what do you what did he call it? Is it well the proof that this doctor proved this work that it works, correct? That is yes. legitimately scientific fact. <laughs> right? It, go ahead and you yeah, see. so it's just exciting. I mean, like now it's like, all right, ready, set, go. Um, so Michael's the one closest, that's my husband, to getting it. So I'm like, what do we need to do? How do I make enough money to get you to just be able to train all day um, and, 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 and just get this? Because once one of us blind people get it, um, I mean – we're going to be on Ellen, <laughs> you know, I'm not, I'm not even confused for a second. So. Absolutely. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's, it's powerful. So I'm so grateful to be connected to you and to be a be witness to this, what, what is happening for, for you and for the, the blind community and for humanity, honestly, we're going through such a big transformation. And, and so we came together because of I came, you know, I'm connected to you because of blindness, because I joined, because of, you know, somebody who I met through a Tony Robbins event and because of what he's building called Unblinded. Do you want to speak to that? Because you're now making an impact there as well, changing lives. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, that you, hopefully, yeah. Um, you know, we're going to be able to work together much, much more closely um in that movement as well so I, i'm definitely looking forward to that as well um so yeah so what i do like i guess my day-to-day -day, um like process is um I, I connect with um entrepreneurs um business executives um people in the professional space um and i really just help unblind them I lead them to um, the founders and masters of of this art um, of what we call integrity based human influence, which we truly believe is a superpower. Um, you know, wars, um, peace, uh, anything and everything is through conversation. And yeah. it's when you can find that piece of conversation and have a GPS, a roadmap of how to talk to people with integrity, okay? Like we're talking like real deal, like, you know, and, and let's just stop real quick and let's like define integrity, right? So to me, and I think Joseph McClendon said this and it just resonated like so deep and it was so simple because uh, there's lots of definitions for integrity and they're all about pretty much the same. But it's like, what does the actions look like, right? Because Joseph 
um, uh, McClendon talks about, um, you know, your actions a lot and, and how it manifests in your brain and, and your energy and stuff. And so he said, and I quote, when your thoughts, your actions and your words match, you're in integrity. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yes. <laughs> That's exactly yeah. when your thoughts, your words, and your actions match your in integrity. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. So it leaves so much to interpretation, right? Because you can be in integrity and be angry. You can be integrity and be powerful. You can be in integrity and be an influencer. Yes. Yeah. yeah. That's, and so, mm-hmm. go ahead. Yeah. No, no. That's just, that's, a, I agree with that. And that's, you know, I always say it's, you say what you mean and you mean what you say. And it's and it is a hundred percent the thoughts behind it as well. So you yeah. know, go on, please. Yeah, and that's a beautiful way to put that. Um, thank you. Yeah, um, yeah, and and that's what I do. I mean, really, I, it's it's very simple, um, but very in depth. It's powerful. Um, it's powerful. It is simple, but it's powerful when people truly. Yeah start to realize when we start to realize the impact we have in our world just by being a better human by being the best version of ourselves and living in integrity truly integrity again thoughts you know the words and the actions yeah being aligned things then, <laughs> yeah right yeah your mom's <laughs> gonna notice it your children are gonna notice it um i mean it's it's and it's funny. It's like a snowball effect. That's what I think. You'll get like these boom, and we call them distinctions. It'll like hit you like a lightning bolt, and you're like, Whoa, that's what I sound like? Okay, wait a minute. That is not what I was trying to say. Yeah. Um, hold on. Wait, what's it like? Hold up. Wait a minute. You know, that's not right. Okay, so yeah. Uh, <laughs> Redo. And it happens all the time. We're human. That's the, here's the thing, people like we're human. We're going to like mess up or make mistakes or like fall behind on what we think our integrity is. It, it happens to everyone. It's like learning how to not beat yourself up for not always being perfect because nobody's perfect. Right? Absolutely. Yeah. And this doesn't make you perfect, but it sure does make you better. Um yeah, this is a process, it's a movement. Go on, sorry. Yeah, yeah. So, like, not only do you, like, get this, like, tweaks in your communication style and the patterns, and it's not even, like, you might feel robotic in the beginning, but that's okay. It's because you're speaking from your mind, not your heart, because you're learning a new, new like, GPS, a new way to get through a conversation. Um, but once you lock it in your brain and you've got it and it drops down into your heart, you can start to add your spice, add your seasoning to it. And it's like, whoa, um, you become way more effective. Um, people actually hear you the way you think you're sounding. And and it becomes obvious because there's less friction in your day-to-day relationships with the banker. I mean, I was talking to the AT&T guy today because he's like, I got this text. Your international bill has reached over $100 this month. And I'm like, what international? Oh, calling Canada is international? I guess. Um, so I'm talking to him, you know, with integrity based human influence, I was honest, he waived all of those charges and he's entering the movement because he was like, I don't talk to people that sound like you, like, what do you do for a living? Like you said, these are business calls to Canada. What business are you in? And there you go. So the proof is in the, yeah. Mm Yeah. Yeah. And people see it and they're like, whoa. What is that? Right. So it's a formula. Mm -hmm. It's a formula that was created by Sean Calgary, who is also blind that Courtney met. I'm Courtney. Sorry, Tiffany. Sorry. I'm just read. Oh, and uh, in you met him a while back. I I don't really know the story there, but she created the formula and we could go on and on. But we're we're getting to a point where, you know, we want to we want to give people. We want to we want to try to wrap this up, but wrap it up in a place of integrity. Wrap it, of course, wrap it up in a place of um, you know where people really truly understand the gifts that 
well, I know you can just listening to Tiffany, you hear the gifts that she's bringing to the world and learning about how we can connect with you and learn more about Unblinded because Unblinded is a, a formula that's changing, that can change humanity and how people go about their day to day lives and speak to each other and communicate. And so I will let you sort of tie it all up. Yeah. Uh, well, that was beautiful buttoning up. <laughs> Thank you, Gina. Um, yeah. And so, you know, that's what I do. And I love my job. I work 10 to 12 hours Monday through Friday. Um, I have hard blocks for my family time and I do get up at 4 a.m. Um, and uh, so that I can I can, you know, reach people all over the United States and obviously Canada. Um, and so, <laughs> um, <laughs> which is just hilarious to me. Today. Um, and um, and, you know, and, and just really change the world one life at a time. And, and, you know, I, I really like what Gina says, you know, become a light for other people to ignite their lights. And, um, and really that's what it's about. Um, and, and ultimately um, is finding, you know, you use this in business and your day-to-day -day life. I mean, I, what, I found more money today. I got $120 waived off my phone bill. So in, in, in Unblinded, you know, our, our like slogan, if there, if there had to be one, is you create more money which okay there's an example of how i create more money today and in less time so your business meetings your meetings with people take less time and they're more impactful yeah okay? so now you have more time freedom to do the things you want to do in life spend time with family work more whatever you want to do doesn't matter right. it's up right. to you and create more magic more magic meaning more fulfillment in your life um because when you have all of those time freedom and money freedom you have more magic in your life. And, and, and those are the three things, you know, I talked to millionaires, billionaires, people who are, are trying to reach that point, you know, people that make a hundred thousand dollars, people that don't make any money, they give blood to pay their bills all day, every day. And we all want the same thing. It doesn't matter where you're at in the world. We all want the same thing, period. Yeah, and um, yeah, and I love it. I absolutely love it. I'm grateful to be here. Um, I'm wonder I'm just grateful to spend this time with all of you. Yeah. And um, I don't know, Gina, how you want to give out my my information. I'm okay um, giving out my phone number, whatever. I don't care. I just go on to not yeah. disturb. So oh, just, listen. give your you can you can state your phone number, and then I will post everything. Okay. I want to share that you know every morning at 8:30 a.m. is a free an opportunity to join the Unblinded movement for free and listen to what it is all about and be a part of the movement to change your own life and the lives of others in your, in your circle of influence in your, um, what we call ecosystem, which is, you know, the, your world, um, that is, it's not just your network ecosystem, define ecosystem real quick. Would you, Tiffany, just for yeah. the yeah. sake. Awesome. So let's play a word game really quick. We'll yep. make this quick. So, when I say ecosystem, Gina, pretend like you don't know. <laughs> when I say ecosystem, what do you think? I think um, the ecosystem, honestly, the economy, yeah. about the economy. Yeah, I wouldn't even know, really. Yeah. A lot of people tell me when I ask them that science, right? Ecosystem. Oh, yeah. science class, biology. Yes. You know, math, something like this, right? <laughs> and, and, and they're all right. They're all right. So, like, you know, for you out there, when I say ecosystem, what do you think? And whatever you say, you're right. However, I'm going to add a little to it. So ecosystem, meaning a grouping of people. So like you and your life, you can think of ecosystems. Like me, Fiber Vision is an ecosystem. My yeah. family is an ecosystem. My friends is an ecosystem. Unblinded is an ecosystem, which yeah. Gina is a part of that ecosystem. She's also now a part of my friend ecosystem. So those overlap when you think about circles. Yeah. And so, um, you know, we could go deep in the ecosystem, but I know we're trying to wrap it up. So, um, and that's the other beautiful thing about Unblinded is there's no fee. This is not networking people. This is deepening your relationships with other people. It does not cost money to do that at all. We have beautiful, beautiful, wonderful um, programs um, for you to get involved. We have a Facebook group, um, Unblinded Movement. Um, dot com is our website. Yep. Um, you can go there and get connected. You can go to our Facebook page, get connected with like-minded people, people who are students of ours, people who are just in the ecosystem to 
because they know it's valuable people there. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, there's really a place for you to grow. And, and like Gina so beautifully pointed out, the daily huddle, we believe that it's your daily dose of integrity-based human influence. Kind of like a news show, but it's not news. Um, but it might be news to you. I think it's news. I'm like, I love the things Sean talks about and, sure. and, and fills my brain with. It's just a positive way to start your day. Absolutely. So, so that's all yeah. it's all there for anybody who's interested. And I'll I'll yep. share it in the comments when I get when we wrap this up. And then um, yeah, so we're thank you, Tiffany. I will wrap this up. I'm sure you have plenty of places to go. I know you work very, very hard. And uh, thank you, thank you, thank you for sharing who you are, what you do in the world, how you've come through so much. Um, you've climbed lots of mountains. And thank you for sharing that and inspiring my community here. My Our ecosystem together is going to grow and grow and grow. And I'm grateful. And I thank you all for watching and being part of this. And um, Tiffany, I'll see you in the huddle tomorrow. Okay. Yeah, awesome. Thank you so much, Gina. Thank okay. you, everybody. Thank you. Thanks, everybody. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.